This camper here is a 2008. Uh, it's a Keystone Montana. It's a Montana Mountaineer Edition, uh, 36 feet. This is two bedrooms. I'm going to walk around and show it to you here. It has the aerodynamic front end on it. <clears throat> the camper's in uh, very good shape. All the decals are in pretty good condition. They're not peeling, they're not burned up by the sun. This has a full aluminum frame, and this is a Four Seasons unit. So this has the uh, heated and covered underbelly. It does have a little dent down here that I'm gonna show you. It's in the metal, and that dent continues right along here. Somebody uh, cut a corner a little bit too tight. But as you can see, the uh, decals on the side are in good condition. And if I see any other damage, I'll be sure to point it out to you. This is a 50 amp camper. It does have a washer and dryer hookup. The roof is solid. The inside of the camper is very clean. And again, it's a Montana, it's the Mountaineer edition. And here's the third slide out. And it looks like the person misjudged a turn on this side too. It's not going anywhere, it's just a little, it's down there in the skirting. This has a little outside cook center with hot and cold water. <clears throat> right here, two burner gas stove top, and again it's a Montana, so if you're familiar with the quality of the Keystone products, uh, it's definitely a really nice camper. 2008 Keystone Montana, 36 feet, it's a 332 uh, PHT, like I said there's a one of the decals has a crack in it here. For the most part, all the decals are very nice. It's a very respectable looking camper. No delamination. It's just, it's pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and go on the inside, let you look around. And this is nice. It has a little mirror, so when you're backing up, uh, you can watch the hitch and line it up easier. And it's got some bugs on the front end. We're going to go ahead and uh, go on the inside and let you look around. As we go inside the uh, 2008 Montana, again, it's a 332 PHT, and it has the all-aluminum framing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go in and let you look around. As you walk in, directly to the right is the stairs that go up into the, into the bedroom. Right in front of you is a uh, nice big entertainment stand with a whole lot of cabinets and storage space. Here's your slide control. This has hydraulic slides. So one button controls all of the slide outs. Little place here to hang up a jacket or some sweaters. Beautiful cabinets. All solid wood cabinets. There's no particle board in, these, in the construction of this. Here's your AM FM stereo DVD player. And I'll just pan around and let you look around. There's a sofa bed, a uh, booth dinette, lots of cabinets up in the slide out. Uh, slide out ceiling height is very good, it's about six foot five. Then you have a center kitchen, stove, microwave, double basin sink. It's just a really nice clean used camper you have a double pantry back there uh, very deep cabinets here I'll open this up and let you look you see how deep they are there's your booth dinette camera doesn't really want to focus nice glass uh, inserts in the cabinet doors 
we're going to go ahead and go in the bedroom area and let you look around. So this is the rear bedroom. It's got a large rear bedroom. So as you walk in, you have a sofa. And then above the sofa, you have a bunk. And one hand easily pushes that out of the way. So that bunk is on shocks. The carpet back here is very good. And you can see how large this room is. Little cabinet place here to put a television. So if you notice here, you got two, uh, you got a lot of floor space. But then if you grab right here and pull that to the side, let me see if I can do this with one hand. I'm going to have to put the camera up here. So I'm sliding this out and then grabbing up top. And there you have two bunk beds that fold down. And I'll show you that. We'll put that back up with one hand. Both beds go up, as you can see. And then you basically pull that and that locks it into place. So you can sleep five people back here. You got two here, uh, two on the sofa bed, and then one up top. So you got five here. You can put two here on the booth, two on that sofa bed, and then we'll go up into the bedroom where you can sleep two more. So you can sleep up to 11 people in this camper. Here you go ahead and walk up front, let you look up here. So there's your hallway, and as you walk up, you got a nice window right here to the right. Good ceiling height. You walk up into the bedroom, and you got a queen size memory foam bed. Nice wardrobe closet. Uh, right here is a hookup for a portable washer and dryer. This is a 50 amp camper. So you put a washer and dryer right there. Television will go right there. This cabinet slides out. So you got a TV on there. You can just watch TV and when you're done, tuck it away and close the cabinet. We'll turn around and let you look over here. So this sliding door blocks off your bedroom. That is your actual bedroom door right there. And we'll close that and let you get a look. So you see. It makes it a nice private bedroom back here, or up here anyway, I should say. And then you have a nice uh, dresser. The drawers are on ball bearing guides. And we'll go ahead and go into the restroom. Nice large restroom. Uh, has the upgraded porcelain commode with a foot flush. Good ceiling height in this restroom. Uh, there's your medicine cabinet and sink. And for those of you that need a tub, you have a little tub here and a nice corner shower. So this is the 2008 Keystone Montana. You can see this, ba this bathroom has a lot of room in it. 2008 Keystone Montana 332 PHT. My name is George. My phone number will be in the ad. If you want to come see this 36 foot two bedroom fifth wheel, just give me a call. I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Thanks again for watching my video and uh, have yourselves a great day.